Hey, what's up? My name is Jay Hardway. Welcome back into my studio. And today I'm explaining how Tungavak and me made the club mix for Kingdoms. We had Kingdoms, our track, and that was a success. And we had a club mix lying around, so we decided to release that as well. And this is how the club mix sounds. So let's dive straight into the project. Yeah, let's, let's go to the drop uh, right now. Of course, way more louder than um, the, the original drop from Kingdoms. And this is a plug we used also in the original, uh, some leads, so. Uh, and only the only one I changed is lead two. Let's see, there's a transit processor on it, which makes the attack harder. So the start of each note and the release lower. So the note goes down in volume faster. Because there was a bit too much, I wanted to be a bit more plucky. So that's why I used the transient processor. And I already have this. So that's already a lot for the sound. Um, let me see, this is the, by the way, the, the fourth lead. It's like a little vocal thing. And then this is really like the plug. It's like a layer combined of, of a plug and a little vocal synth as well. So that is what we started from. And then we added a bunch of... Uh, because that's not like hard enough it needs to pop out a little bit more so what we did was we added another layer of three nexus uh, uh synths and they sound they're on the same channel and they sound like this this is the first uh, let me take off the side chain that's the first um that's the second drew track plug Sounds really good. There's already uh, a lot of effects on it from Nexus itself. And that's why I love Nexus be because they have great presets uh, you can easily layer. The third one is plug into the future. So Don Diablo, watch out. Uh, into the future and those three together uh, are on the same channel with sound goodizer and some EQ to take out the low frequencies. So that, and there's of course sidechain on it. To not get in the way of the kick. Then that is added uh, or linked to channel 44. Where I use a fruity free filter for build-ups. Uh, balance is just for volume control. Uh, and some more EQ. Uh, because this is where all the leads come together. And some reverb which is used also in transitions. Really cool way to uh, transition in your tracks. And that's added to the other leads. So I've now muted all the lead channels and I will show you how the drop sounds like without those lead channels. So it starts with a kick, of course. Um, the kick is right here. It's considering two kicks. Um, and it sounds really cool. Uh, and I use a top kick. And I just use the first part of that. And from this one, I just use the second part like this. And it blends really well together. Uh, and I use this kick a lot. Also like in Golden Pineapple, I think I use this one as well. Uh, and it's just searching. You have a nice kick that has a nice body, but you want another top. So you can easily cut it like this. And if it doesn't have a clicky sound or whatever, and it just blends together nicely, it works. Uh, what you could do is add the two to one channel and use some compression to really like glue them together. So that's the kick. Then I add two claps, which are quite important for the sound. There's nothing on this clap because it doesn't have, I, I, it, I like the sound of it. I added it and it worked. Then this clap, it's like a snare and that's where a lot of low frequencies was in. If you can hear it's like a really Wait, I, I don't need that much low. But take out the low frequencies like this. Uh, and then you get this. A uh, little high at the high from the break as well. Gives it a really nice groove, which is quite important. Uh, then the really cool part, I think. I'm going to turn off the claps for a little bit and show you the bass. Um, this is the same kind of way I do it in a lot of tracks. Um, I use an actual bass sample instead of a plug-in.
it's all samples and you can even hear this it's even not the same sample though. so this is like a sliding bass that's what i use in the beginning then there's another one which sounds way more squarey so way more synth synth like but they have the same kind of warmth in it so that's what i that's why we could combine them and it worked uh, what's on there is a kickstart uh, and a balance but that's only for uh, automation con uh, volume control uh adding the claps to that again uh and the hi-hat already really cool but it's not enough bass it's not enough uh, structure there yet so we wanted to add that um so let's go to pattern eight which is as i always call it the upper bass and in this case it's a keyscape key bass keyscape has a lot of really cool presets and really like sampled instruments take off the, the sidechain and i'm gonna also take off the eq which is a low cut frequency as you can see but this is how it sounds like normally a lot of energy but i have already my sub bass from the other sample so what i want to do is take out the sub bass because else it's going to interfere with each other it's going to sound messy that's really important in mixing to have like one bass and no don't let anything interfere too much with that bass and then this eq is also to take out well more bass and to add a little bit of high and this is just all by ear so you check like what does this do i want more of that or i want less of that and the way i learned eqing is by playing the sound deciding what i thought was cool in that sound so um and then just turning buttons and listening what it does ah okay and then you you, you kind of figure out and you you train your ears by the, if you produce more and more years um how to uh how to mix basically and that's added And then the pianos are added, which are really important in this drop. It's a layer I've used also, I think, in Vibes. Like, it's four pianos. And I'll show you what is uh, what it sounds like without anything. And I need it without sidechain as well. So, this is really cool. Because this is what I think is, is quite important about this whole drop. It makes the chords come alive way more. It's not just straight chords playing the rhythm. It's actually uh, a melody inside the chords. Uh, and it, it takes some knowledge of musical theory. Um, but it's I think it's important to, to know, to understand the theory and to um, know what works and what doesn't. But this just adds a lot to your chords. Um, I'll show you by showing you this one, one like note that's playing throughout the chords. So that's like a melody inside of the chords uh, and it's really cool because when you hear it with other uh, songs so this is the second melody and you won't really you're not really able to tell when all, all of it is playing together but it, it does a lot for your sound and this is what i do on most of my tracks it just makes your chords and rhythms way more interesting And the best way I can describe that is just like simple melodies inside of your chords. So there's another piano. And it's the wing upright, mono, bright. And this is like a layer that I've created in, um, in another project and we use for this one. So by combining those pianos, you get this whole sound. Let me turn all the EQs back on. And then with all those elements combined, you have a great layer on which to put your uh, lead on top of. Yeah, that's basically the drop. So there's some cool little elements in it, like a little really, I think really cool uh, fill. It's like a reverse, reverse thing where I only use the, the first part, then a little drop which does a lot <laughs> sounds really funny and little a little drum 
which I only used the first two of. And then the hay with reverb on it. And it's really, it, it works really well because everything else stops and you only hear that little fill. And especially that drop, it just, yeah, it's just a funny little thing we decided to do. So. It just makes this track a little bit more unique and a little bit more enjoyable, I think. Second part of the drop, you hear uh, the vocal coming. And it ends on I, and it we thought it would be cool if that I kept on going in a melody. So we, we cut off the I. Uh, let me take off the side chain. That's how it sounds like. So it would sound like this without anything. Just the vocal. Then we added uh, EQ, uh, sound goodizer, and that's like really does a lot. Reverb, like this. A stereo shaper to make it stereo. Transient processor to again uh, lower the release a little bit, so it has like a li bit of a little bit more of a plucky feel, and then more reverb, which we use later on uh, in the transition. And then you play this melody. And we figured out what it should be a little bit by listening to the track and just trying out different melodies. And it, it's like the vocal continues, really cool. So that's the drop. So that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know on Instagram or Twitter and make sure to check out my other videos as well. And I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.